In this video, we will start with exam style questions. We will first look at an example of sequences and series. You will find this on page 92 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at the example. The first, the second, and the last terms in the arithmetic progressions of 56, 53, and negative 22, respectively. Find the sum of all the terms in the progression. Okay, so first term, now if I have the second term, and I know they tell me it's an AP, I can say T2 minus T1 to find D. So the, the front minus the back, or the front minus the back. So I have D and I have the last term. Now I want to find that position of the last term. So I use the TN formula to find that position. So in the place of TN, I put the negative 22. And then I put A, and I put D, and I put N minus 1. And then I just simplify it. And I get the value of N is 27. And now SN is N over 2A plus L. So in the place of S27, I'm actually looking for 27, I say 27 over 2, A56, there is L, negative 22, and I just work it out and I get my answer. Okay, let's look at the next one. The first, the second, and the third terms of a geometric progression. So now you must think of the formulas of a GP. Is this, this, and this respectively, where k is a positive constant. Find value of k. Now, because it's a GP, I start with the statement where I say t2 divided by t1 is equal to t3 divided by t2. It's going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to do that. I substitute, I cross multiply, I get a quadratic, I factorize, and remember, I get two values of k. And don't forget, if I look back, where they say k is a positive constant. So I reject negative, and the value of k is 6. Now I continue. I find the value of k, and I find the sum to infinity. So what is the, um, so now first substitute the value of k. So if I substitute, I say 2 times 6 plus 6, and this one is 2 times 6, and this is 6 plus 2, and there's my value. And now this, the formula for sum to infinity is A over 1 minus R. So first get R by saying T2 divided by T1, that's 2 thirds, and then substitute, and the sum to infinity is 50. Not that very, very basic one. Okay, I want you to stop the video. And I want you to do, let's just make it, uh, I don't think it's necessary to make it bigger. I think you can see it good enough. So do for me try now 50. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue stop the video and then you can continue as soon as you're finished. Okay. The first three terms, now I, I like always to underline what is important, especially in word sums. So it's the first three terms. It's an AP. And the terms is 4, x, and y, respectively. The first three terms of a geometric, so let's use another color, geometric are x, y, and 18. It is given that both x and y, very important, both x and y are positive. So underline, read it more than once, and then you can start with the question. Okay, now let's start with the first one, the AP. Now, if I'm starting, so this is try now, so I'm saying that the terms is, it's an IP, and the terms will be 4, X, Y. So don't forget, this is term 1, term 2, term 3. So if I'm going to start, I'm going to, the first three terms are, are this. Now, don't forget, I know it's an AP. So because I know it's an AP, I can say why, um, sorry, I just want to, oh, let's just get it correct. Term 2 minus term 1 is equal to term 3 minus term 2. So basically, I can say X minus 4 is equal to Y minus X. Okay. And then... 
I'm continuing. So a geometric, no, I know it's a GP. Get my pen correct. And the first three terms will be X, Y, and 18. So don't forget, this is term 1, term 2, term 3. So if I'm doing this, I will say term 2 divided by term 1 is equal to term 3 divided by term 2. So it's going to be Y over X is equal to 18 over Y. Then I cross multiply, so Y times Y, it's Y squared, and that is equal to 18 X. Now, basically what I did is I was forming two equations. So um, I can make this one also. Let's just, uh, let's just simplify this one. So this is X plus X, so it's coming over. So it's 2X minus Y um, is equal to 4. I can do it like that. Okay. Uh, or if I want to make rather Y the subject, um, because it's either X or Y, okay, I'm just going to redo it then, and rather say 2X minus 4 is equal to Y. Okay. Because this is now, say, 1, and this is equation 2. So because it's quadratic, I cannot solve it with elimination. Uh, plus and minus, I must do substitution. So I'm going to say substitute. Equation 1 into equation 2. Okay, so if I substitute, I'm just going to say now in the place of y squared, so this y, can you see why I did y? So it's 2x minus 4 squared. And that is 18x. So now you do the short, I, I like the short way, especially in this level. So 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Multiply, so it's negative 8x, multiply to negative 16x plus 16. Okay. Uh, take this one over because it's quadratic. I try to get everything on one side, so it goes here. So then this is going to be um, 4x squared. Uh, then I'm going to add this two up. So it's negative 34. Okay, now before you factorize, simplify, I think we can just divide it by 2. So just go and divide it by 2. So if you divide it by 2, I get 2x squared minus 17x plus 8. I move this off, sorry. Okay, I'm moving it just up a little bit. So if I factorize, let's just see what will I factorize. Um, 8 and 1, I think it will work. Um, 8 and 1, and yes, 2 and 1, because that's 16. Uh, let's just see. This is a positive. Yeah. So this is going. Oh, yeah. 16 plus 1 is 17 because it's positive. The signs are the same because it's positive. And I'm basically going to get uh, x minus 8, 2x minus 1 equals to 0. So therefore, x is 8 or x is a half. Okay, now um, uh, let's just see what the question was saying to you. So I'm basically, I'm getting two values of X, but I must still get then two values of Y. So let's just see, because it's both. I just want to go back to the question. Um, X are positive, both are positive. So I have to work with both. So if I want to get Y, just take the blue again. Uh, now, I think I can substitute in, in equation 1. So I'm just going to, so to get y, remember y is 2x minus 4. So it's 2, so it's 8 minus 4. So it's 16 minus 4, and that's 12. Or to get y is 2x minus 4, and that's 2, and it's a half. 
minus 4, and that's 1 minus, um, let's just see, and that's negative 3. So, basically, um, but x must be, uh, x and y must be positive. You see, so here comes the thing. Okay, so basically, because y is ending up to a negative value there, I dismiss this whole you see, because both must be positive. So let's just end um, both x and y must be positive. So I'm rejecting this half and negative 3. So therefore, x is 8. And y is equal to 12. Okay, and that's how you do an exam type of question.